Let's start with the basics of positioning your figure. A stick figure consists of different segments. A segment is defined by one point red dot to another red dot. That is a se segment. The red dots are considered pivoting joints. If I grab a red handle and move, you can see how my stick figure moves by the individual segments. So I can grab at any point of the red and move according to that joint. If you want to figure, move your entire figure, click on the orange point in the middle and you can move the whole figure around. If you want to move your figure in very small increments, which means small pieces, you can click move your cursor over one of the joints and use the arrow keys on your computer and it will move it in one pixel in one direction that you want. See how it's moving so slightly up because I'm using the up arrow key. Moving down because I'm using the down arrow key. I hover over this one. This is moving it to the right because I'm using the right arrow key. And if I want to move it back to the left, I use the back arrow key. So you can position things very, 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 very precisely. If you want to change the size of your figure, you can use the scale. 100 is the default. If I click on the arrows down, notice my whole character shrinks. Or I can make it bigger by arrowing up or just changing the number. So you can scale and change the size of your figures by changing the number inside. There's another way to scale your figure by holding down the Alt key, the ALT key, and taking one of the red handles. If I click and I'm just dragging out, it makes my figure bigger or smaller. I also can rotate my figure. I'm still holding down on the ALT key. If you just want the figure to rotate, if you just want your figure to rotate and not scale or change size, you can hold down the Alt and the Control key and it will just rotate. It will not let me scale it or make it bigger. If you would just like to scale it and not rotate it, it is again the Alt Shift key. So Alt is always a key thing to help you in terms of scaling and rotating. And then you just add a combination of either control or the arrow up key. And now I'm making it bigger, but it's not letting me rotate because I'm holding down the shift and alt key. You can stretch a figure's pivot figure's uh, segment. That's what these pieces are, segments, by clicking on the red, one of the red joints, clicking on the control, and dragging it out. So you can change the length of segments by once again holding on the red button, dragging out. And those are the basics of positioning your figure in Pivot.